Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service here in Central Washington. My name is Todd and today um, I'm just going to be going over uh, just some quick details about this BXI 1606D amplifier. This is a Hyphonics board. Um, but most importantly, what drives this? So this board is driven off of the old HIP uh, 4080 ICs. Um, they're made by Intersil. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice here, I do have, oh, sorry for that autofocus. I do have new lamps. I've switched to all LED, so I'm not sure what my color's looking like here. All right, so yeah, this is the HIP 4080 that's made by Intersil. These um, are obsolete. They are a complete nightmare to find. They're absolutely a nightmare to find. They're a nightmare to find good ones, ones that work. Um, last year, I scoured the internet high and low to get my hands on as many 4080s as I could. And a lot of these 4080s are labeled 4080, but are actually 4081s. And a lot of them had a dead short, direct short. So as soon as you applied your 12 volts to it, the 4080 would just get extremely hot, which uh, of course indicates a short. So um, I just wanted to go over real quick today on a customer's board here. He did say he switched out his uh, 4080. And if this 4080 doesn't work right, obviously this amplifier is not going to switch so i just wanted to show you what i have here i have a test board for the hip 4080s and the 4081s i can configure this a little bit differently to test the 4081s uh, this is currently set up for the 4080s because that's typically what you find in amplifiers uh, so i have designed there's a oscillating input I had built to uh, give that HIP 4080 input signal. And here I have the customer's 4080. And the first thing I always check before I work on or try to find the problem of a 4080 amplifier is to make sure the 4080 is still functional. So you can see I have the scope in the upper right hand corner there for you. Oh, I'm sorry, the upper left hand corner for you. Um, I've got my 12 volts to the input. I do not have uh, my uh, B plus to the transistors. So uh, you don't have to have the B plus to the transistors to test the output signal. You will see, however, that where I do believe it's the high out will have a little, quite a bit of overshoot. Uh, because I don't have the output uh, powered up. There's no load on it. So we'll get 12 volts to this HIP here and I'll show you what I look for. So here's your um, A drive, your A high out. As you can see, you have the uh, square wave there just exactly what we'd be looking for. And then we have the A low. Let me get my trigger set for you guys here. And then, so there's your A side, your low output. So then you have your B side high output, which there's that overshoot I was talking about. You're gonna see that on your HIP 4080 um, as it's uh, unloaded here. And then there's your B drive low output, your nice square wave. Now, a faulty 4080, if it doesn't heat up and get super hot, it typically doesn't have the A section high output or the A section at all. It'll usually have the B section, but not the A section. Um, and again, if it's another just shorted at 4080, this IC just gets extremely hot. 
So this is an IC that I would feel comfortable installing into the amplifier to start testing the board, as I know both sides are switching correctly. So again, I just wanted to show you that there are tools out there to help you uh, diagnose the issue relatively quick with the 4080, because if you have a shorted output, you may dry, you may damage the 4080, and you will never know if you damaged it unless you test it. Or you repair all the burnt stuff on the board and you go to fire it up and then bad things happen. You know, if uh, gates come out at the wrong time or something, if you don't have any gates come out at all, then you're going to be backtracking back through the circuit just to find out you may just have a bad 4080. So that's uh, today's quick video for you. I wanted to keep it simple and short there for you. Uh, just to give you a quick demo of the uh, air ways to test that 4080. And that there are options to be able to test that. If you guys have 4080s that you would like tested, please feel free to contact me. I would be more than happy to bring them in for you and test those 4080s and let you know the outcome of those 4080s. Uh, if you don't have availability to one of these test boards. So, I do thank you for watching. I am going to continue working on this uh, 1606D here. It does have uh, just, a, just a bunch of bad solder joints on it. I get a green light. I do get some a little bit of switching, but I do have some bad solder joints over here at R29. So... Uh, which is a 40, I'm assuming it's a 47 ohm resistor across 12 volts because it's kind of burned up. But um, I'm working on this board right now. I'm not quite set up uh, to power this board up yet, but when I do get to it, maybe I'll get a video on it. Um, I'm really behind. I'm super swamped on competition amplifiers, so I uh, will be with you guys soon. And I do thank you for watching. Leave any comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Get your fingers out of the rails. Stay safe.